All right. Well, I restarted the stream, so maybe that'll fix it. Fingers crossed. Anybody that joins, thanks for being back here. Um, but okay. About uh, nearly dead to tell the tale of a wandering demon causing destruction. I was one of many knights at my liege's side and immediately stood to deal with the creature. Okay. How do the problem and the cause fit together? What is the actual solution? Someone or something summoned a demon into this realm, into this realm, and it has been set free either intentionally or per uh, accidentally, accidentally, but either way, the creature is free, free and must be stopped. Given the nature of demons, the No, that's not important for you. All right, what makes this stake important to your sovereign? This creature is tearing its way across his kingdom. This creature is tearing its way across his kingdom. This creature is tearing its way across his kingdom. And causing damage to life and property property that not only does not reflect well on him but also does not reflect well on him but also is a problem that he will have to deal with How do you get there? How do I get there, bruh? How do I get there? Ooh, ooh, what do I have? What do I have? What kind of night? Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the really important question. Because this is set in a D&D &D fantasy setting, the real question is, what kind of... Hi, Rouse. Welcome. Glad to have you in the chat. This is this is set in my homebrew world of Imiok in Edendon. And so because it's a homebrew world in D&D, &D, I could be any kind of knight. But what kind of creature am I riding on? I think I have a flying mount. I think as a legendary champion. <sighs> Rouse, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <sighs> Just stop making faces at me, all right? Of course not. Leave me alone before I just quit streaming altogether, all right? I will. I need to set up a bot. You know what? You know what I'm going to do after this stream? Do you know what's going to happen after this fucking stream? I'm going to go find a bot that'll, that'll just do it for me, okay? Because... Because I don't... I, I can't... I can't... I'll, I'll forget. I, I will forget. All right, so I'm just going to go. I am just going to go get a bot for it later. Yep, that's the plan. Um, all right, let's see. But back to this. How did you get there? I think I have a flying mount. As one of the most beloved knights of the king, I... have a flying mount named named crimp named the gold named goldwing yep named goldwing that's the name of the flying mount mount it was easy enough to get to where this half dead Lowborn described. Okay, will you face the peril? Of course I'm gonna face the fucking peril. What kind of question is that? So, all right, so the first thing that 
the first thing that we need to do is I need to oh that's what that okay that's what the difficulty is so I have to keep rolling okay so here's what I'm doing I'm using cunning which means because my cunning is plus three nope my swiftness I'm using swiftness sorry I'm using swiftness so I'm gonna roll three die all right Okay, and I need to, I need to, uh, I'm going to roll three, three, three D6s. Next, decide how your night begins. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. next, decide how your night begins to solve the problem. Choose one of your stats and roll it. If the roll is successful, then remove a point of difficulty from the peril. Whether or not you succeed, don't forget to advance your reputation. If the peril's difficulty is not zero, then repeat the process. Remember that most recent stat you rolled becomes resisted. Oh, you may want to vary your approach or try and gain experience from the resisted rolls. You might want to simply solve the peril or you might want to tie it back to a power player. In other words, aside if your journal entry is the intrigue, it's also... Or if they're related, ooh. Did I settle on an injury? Hold on, let's, let's roll this first. Fuck me. All right, I didn't, I didn't get any fives or sixes. And now this is resisted. I'm gonna keep doing it though. I'm gonna keep fucking doing it. I got two fives and no six. Okay. I got a six. I got a six. Okay, let let's go back up. I need to. All right, so that's one down. I need two more sixes, right? Because this is in fact. Okay, let's see. Ready and waiting. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Let's see, I need to go back and take a look at this. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. Okay, uh, when you become legendary, yeah, 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 you can choose to, before you roll, to suffer a downfall. Nope, that's not. Okay, so one down. Are you saying you're sleepy or I'm sleepy? Ah. I'm gonna go to my notes for a second while I find what I'm looking for. Fuck. <sighs> okay, that's too resisted. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I asked. Okay, let's see. Okay, but the real question I have here, which again, it might just be me missing this, which is frustrating on my end because brain, do your fucking job and stop being difficult, you little bitch. Um, how many times can I roll? Do I just roll until I get it? Do I get any, like right now I have two experience because two of my, two of my resisted rolls have succeeded. Um, but here's the thing, I failed like, like I failed to do it like four times. Five times, six times, seven. Five, six, seven. I've I rolled ten times. I rolled ten sets of three d six, and I fa and, and while I've now succeeded, I did fit. I did. It did take me a lot of rolls. So like, what happens with that? Do I just get to keep doing it? Like, I 
mean, I'm not saying, I'm not seeing, uh, maybe I'll have to go. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. I mean, I guess I just kind of get to keep rolling, is from what I from what I can tell. Which okay, back to it. But I am also sleepy, my friend. I can't wait to be back in the correct time zone, so that I am not getting up at seven thirty to get stuff together for an eight thirty stream, and instead it's eight for a 9 30 stream i miss the east coast i can't wait to get some sleep feel like a fully rested individual <sighs> oh. <clears throat> the good old days where if i went to bed at one o'clock i could still get seven hours of sleep <clears throat> okay So we have solved the problem. I have gained three experience. Boom. Nope, wrong thing. And next, that has been solved. All right, the next bit of this. When the peril's difficulty is zero, then it's time for an intrigue. Choose an intrigue table to roll on or roll a die. Roll twice on this table. First to determine the cause, then... Uh, we're gonna go with intrigues inside the capital, right? And then we're going to go to, again, I wish this was hyperlinked. Like that would make me so happy. Is this page 42? All right. Intrigues to thwart. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's see. We're going to pick something to do. The disgraced prince is not a bad one. A wrathful ghost. Mm. Okay, so but so here's the thing. There's two of these, right? The disgraced prince or the court wizard. Now, I think can we can we combine the two? I think it's gonna be a combination of the two, right? It's gonna be the disgraced. It's gonna be the disgraced prince and the court wizard, right? The prince has been disgraced and disowned, right? So one of the nine sons that this king has, one of those princes has been disgraced and disowned. The court wizard kind of has a little bit of a grudge for whatever reason, and they team up and they release a demon into the wild. Um, and this actually plays really well together because both resist cunning. Plays really well together. Okay. Intrigue in the capital. Disgraced prince and the court wizard. Ooh, it's oh, it's not even it's not even that the court wizard has a grudge. It's that the court wizard is being blackmailed by the disgraced prince. Like the 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 prince know something that would get the court wizard tortured not just executed right tortured about it one of Estermont's nine sons is disgraced So instead, blackmails them into letting a demon free. <laughs> okay. All right, so they both resist cunning. Okay, so I, 
I am so like writing this right now. It's get, I'm getting like big, like the thing that just popped into my head is like, you know, like the overall banner is the tales of Sir, um, Aust- what is my knight's name? I have forgotten my knight's name. The tale of Sir Doran Oz, Osgray. And then underneath it, like that's the like general thing underneath it. It's the wizard and the prince. Like that, ugh, man, I want to write that. Okay, problems. Let's see. Having your having young knights killed, trying to flee the palace, concealing an affair, funding the perpetrators, selling state secrets, da, 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 defiling the ancient barrier, joining the protectors' gods, ooh, bringing cat, cat, catastrophe deliberately. Trying to destroy a rival, gathering support for a coup, laying a potent curse, willing to train, trying to summon power. Okay, bringing c- catastrophe deliberately. That's what I think summoning a demon that's destroying things falls under. Yes, definitely. Let's see. Oh, actually, actually, never mind. Summoning a great demon. Here we go. <laughs> summoning a, a great demon and conspiring with dark powers. That, that, that's what's happening here. Why can't my technology just fucking work? Conspiring with dark powers, summoning a great demon. Okay. So that that's what happened there. Okay. So now what what happens next? Nope. We're not doing intrigue in another land. That's Oh, wait, actually. Uh hold on a second. Uh, the next thing that I need to do no, 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 is go back to perils and intrigue. Nope. Okay, here we go. Yep, here we go. Here we go. All right, we got that. We need to get down to intrigue. Oh, what is what is this? I can't even see what these intrigue questions are. Do you see this? Oh, fam, cat, I don't know what I'm reading. I'm going to make a note of that. Okay. All right, so. Let's swap back over to here and actually give me one second as I send this message to cat. So I don't forget about it. Actually, uh, one second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. How? Ah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, in questions to ask, how does your knight discover this plot? When the creature is destroyed and dragged back down to the abyss. What's going on here? Mm. 
when the creature is destroyed and dragged back down to the abyss. Ooh, I'm gonna ca canonize this for my world settings. When fiends like this are killed, they leave behind some type of trophy. Kind of like the monsters from... <laughs> kind of like the monsters from Percy Jackson. They go back and reconstitute themselves, but they do leave something behind. So when the creature is destroyed and dragged back down to the abyss, uh, it leaves behind behind a trophy from the defeat and carved into it is a summoning is is a uh, a rune for summoning magic summoning magic as a knight of noble birth I keep forgetting this knight's name. Doran. Doran. There we go. Was taught in the ways of the divine and arcane and has a decent amount of knowledge about it. So it is clear. Doran. Yeah, Doran with an I. So it is clear. Mm-hmm. This wasn't some accidental summoning. This wasn't this wasn't some accidental release of a creature or it being able to pass through the bounds, the borders of reality. Okay, here's the thing though. Here's the thing. How do you feel about the people involved? No feelings, no feelings about, no feelings about the people involved as of yet, because I don't think, think my knight knows, my knight knows. My knight 100% knows this was done, knows this was done deliberately. But the culprits can be many. Absolutely. This demon killed people while it was free. He will. Where do you, what do you mean where's royalty fit in Imiak lore? I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, he will be unraveling this. Even if it kills him. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, so... One, yes, they're, they're of, of, of course, yeah, there's. These sovereigns were right now writing some lore about Edendon, European analog, um, and this knight, Sir Doran Osgray, is under the rule of, um, is, is the, is, whose liege lord is Sir Marvon Estman, Esmond? something around those things so yes there there's royalty uh the ways in which the government and royalty exist or don't exist is different across the various uh, nations so um and all right let's see let's go back to this all right Okay. Mm, interesting, interesting. Um, unlike Pero, intrigue always has a difficulty of one. Whether or not you succeed at unraveling the intrigue, gain one experience for every point of difficulty you face in the Pero step. How do I advance my reputation? Do I just add it to the like?
Oh, that's what it is. Each time I fail. Oh, fuck me. That's what I did. Great, 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 great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Jesus fucking Christ. That's what I fucking did. Welp. Okay. We are going to use... Nope, we're gonna use cunning. We're gonna use cunning here. I might I might not actually be that great of a knight. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That's that's oof. Like I succeeded, but people are not taking me seriously in this in endeavor. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend one destiny. And I'm gonna roll two D6s. No, I'm going to roll three D6s for this. Cunning is resisted, so I have to get a six. Are you fucking kidding me? Where'd you go? Come on, big money, no wings. Failed. So now I'm back down to one. Yes! All right, even. We're kind of We're kind of dead set even here. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, ugh, this is bad. This is bad. They think I'm clownish with my swiftness, but they're kind of in the middle ground with my cunning. So, hmm, could be worse. Jesus fucking Christ, an end of a legend? Oh boy, I gotta be I gotta be careful. Okay, so if you succeed, then write briefly about how your knight discovered the plot. Okay, so I actually take back what I said. I did in fact succeed, right? Uh so he Okay, so here's the thing. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, so here's the thing. How does they feel about the people involved? Doran has, uh, has a passing familiarity with the... I take it back. Doran is a knight and is going to be an... Uh, an eldritch knight thank you very much okay doran has a decent relationship with the court wizard court wizard having taken to the uh arcane Having taken to the arcane arts as a way to increase their prowess. Prowess in combat and sometimes has discussions with the wizard. No, there's not a buttville. What is wrong with y'all? With the wizard. The prince is of no consequence to Dorian. Having drank and whored his way, his way into being an accomplice, for a plot against the king, he has been disowned. How, how do you intend to bring about justice? How, not will. Okay, not do you. Um, man, I should have reread these questions a little bit better. Do you intend to bring about justice? How do you intend to bring about justice? Unsure, I am unsure on this. All right. It was with... Uh... Hmm. 
No intrigue resolved. It was with a heavy heart. I brought the wizard before the king for punishment. In a dear place. I held them in a dear place and their death was assured. Now the prince, I was quite gleeful to turn them over to their father. I had never spoken this, but it was my, was my belief. Belief. The event that got him disowned should have gotten him, him killed alongside his conspirators. Um, let's see. No reputation has reached 10. And now, oh, growing from a quest. Okay, after you have, ex oh wait, I have four experience at this point. All right. Okay, growing from an experience. After you've completed a quest, you may have some experience to spend. Experience helps you grow stronger and wiser, and the more stories are told about you, the deeper your legend runs. You might want to journal about how your knight reflected on their quest and grew as a person, or what they did that caused the world to view them differently. You can spend experience in the list below. Okay, I have four experience right now. Remove, oh, I'm spending three to remove a, a one point of reputation. <laughs> yeah, 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 because I'm going to keep using swiftness. It's my best fucking stat, so obviously I, yeah. Um, ah, how do I keep doing that? You can choose, if you roll the same danger, okay. This means to slay, convert, heal, or otherwise render a certain enemy harmless. Okay. Make a note in your journal of what you have done to eliminate the danger. If you roll the same danger again on any table, the difficulty is reduced by one. If the difficulty is reduced to zero, then you thwart the parallel entry without rolling and gain one experience instead. That's cool. All right. And I do believe. Yep. And that is the end of the instructions for this game. Now, there are other stuff happening, but that is one chapter that we've gotten through, and that's what we're going to call it for this particular game. Uh, I'm going to go on like a quick, quick little break, and then we're going to come back for the third and final game that we're playing. Second and final game that we're playing today. I can't count.
nigga. Let's take it from the top. I was on fucking mute. Creation myths. Author note. I've always wanted to write. One day I had this idea to publish a series of short stories or novellas that documented the backstories of the many, many characters I had created over my lifetime. From the bookish school teacher who protected his students and their community from vampires to the gay werewolf who drove trucks for a living after abandoning his home and family for fear of his secret being discovered. I wrote these characters on forums, in roleplay, even repurposed some for TTRPGs. I was desperate to create new stories with every one of these characters that lived in my head, but I also wanted a way to share how and why they came to be as they are. Sometime later, once I started creating TTRPG content, the idea returned to me. I'm still super into character creation, it's my favorite thing, but how can I make a game out of it. Creation Miss is my answer to that. It is a game, so it should be fun. But at the same time, it is a tool, something to help us dive into not only the experience our characters may have had before they embark on their next adventure, but how they reacted to it, and what pre-existing parts of their life might have influenced them along the way. I hope that this little list of prompts and ideas will help you, reader, to think about your character's origins in new ways and provide a different perspective that which you have come up with yourself while sticking to a familiar narrative template. I hope that it will help you come up with some fun ideas for how and why your new character is joining their next campaign. But most of all, I hope this is fun. Goth Hoplin. Table of contents. So first off, it is hyperlinked, right? So if I click on this, it will take me here. Here's the other problem, though. It doesn't have any bookmarks, which is frustrating for me. Um, to begin playing creation myths, you will need the following character idea, okay, a set of polyhedral dice, all right, somewhere to write your story, got it, a copy of these rules, yep, a journey sheet to keep track of your roles and prompt, optional, and if you are playing with a physical copy of, of the book, a bookmark or sticky note might be useful so you don't lose your place, fair. Uh, note, a note on safety, journaling games can be rich, beautiful experiences for a player, but at the same time can be emotionally intense. Some of the prompts contained in the creation myths carry with them the implication of and give the ability to create situations that may be emotionally charged or anxiety inducing for both the character and the player. If you feel uncomfortable at any stage of play, stop playing and take a break. Decide if you wish to continue with the prompt. If not, skip to another one or change it. Your safety and health should always remain a top priority while playing any game, whether alone or with friends. Awesome. There are a number of ways you can play Creation Miss. Pick one. Heroic mode. Roll the die listed at the top of the section. Read and respond to the prompt that matches the number you rolled. Then mark off or fill in one of the stars beneath the die icon. Once all the stars are marked off, move to the next section. Hard mode. Read and respond to all the prompts. Many will contradict each other. Skip them, sk skip them out or make it work. Casual mode. Read and respond to just the prompts you want to respond to. Goblin mode, as per heroic mode, but with an additional desire to collect things. Decide what you like to collect. There's the table at the back of the book if you need ideas. Uh, table at the back of the book with no bookmarks is frustrating. For every section you complete after section 5, into the unknown, roll an additional 1d6. This is how many of those things you gather. If you roll a 1, you get nothing, and this is very upsetting. Keep your growing collection at the forefront of your mind as you answer the prompts. How does, how does your want to collect support or interfere with your journey? crisis at any point during the game if you feel like your character may have experienced a crisis as a result of events along their journey move to section 13 and roll on the crisis table to help resolve it before moving on yeah yeah actually collecting collecting shiny things yeah you're super right about that, Ben. I'm gonna mention that to the author. Notes. I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna mention that to the author. Be right back.
You know... I think I we're actually going to wrap it there. I think I want to go mention the anti-Semitic issues with the goblin mode and see how the author reacts to that information before continuing to play this. Just in case it's not great and not a vibe and not something I want to be promoting on the <laughs> on on VJ on my VJH creation stuff. So thanks for being here. Uh, we'll catch you later and uh, we'll see how this goes. Have a great one, everybody.